Hi guys, it's Will with the Gears and Beers YouTube channel, and I thought I would show you what I'm doing tonight instead of working on tractors. I'm working on my dragster. I'm going to show you a couple of the hot rods. This is our piddle shop. This is, we don't work on farm equipment in here. This is for toys. I mean, it's just a toy box. Um, what I've got here this is a 1967 152 inch wheelbase front engine dragster came out of Miami, Florida originally. It was 200, 212 inches. It was shortened before I got it. I shortened it again and un-Florida manned it because it was bad. Um, my dad's 51 Crosley wagon that someday will move. It, it's a banana colored clown car as far as I'm concerned. Now, I have an affinity for three liter Mercruiser boat motors, Chevy two four cylinders. They powered dirt track midgets for years. I threw this together with a bunch of vintage speed parts, Dugan head, Hillborn injection, Enderly pump, stuff like that. Now it, everything from the cylinder head down was bone stock. It came out of a pontoon boat. I beat the rust out of the cylinders, threw it together, and got this piece of shit to run 100 mile an hour in the eighth, missing, as you can tell, missing a hole. Um, power glide, fun little car. It's not fast. These little four bangers make incredible noises. It's like the most angry farm all M you've ever heard. Um, we'll give a walk around here. Um, again, the wagon. This is my dad's. 2023 20, Model T, track, track Roadster style. He bought it 10, 15 years ago, about done. We just kind of slapped it together. I, I hate the word rat rod, but it kind of is. But this car's been to Bonneville a lot. And it's a fun car. It's hairy to drive. It's twitchy. And then we got this. This is my Dirty Girl Model A. It's 28 sedan. Uh, Three liter Mercruiser here, a pair of Stromberg 97s. I beat this thing like it owes me money and it's never let me down. Um, three and a half inch chop on the top, uh, five speed out of an S10 dashboard. Uh, this is a gauge insert out of a 1600 IH grain truck. I turned it upside down, had it chrome plated. Uh, S10 five-speed transmission. It was free. Uh, I will eventually finish this. It is not a rat rod. I just, it takes a lot of money to straighten one of these old girls out. I actually bought this car. It was restored, and they restored it with seven-eighths of an inch of Bondo in the doors and some pretty sketchy shit. Um, I run in this a, this is a Culver City Hail Brad quick change rear end. Some of you guys might know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, what you've got is you've got a drive gear and a driven gear, and you can swap combinations in here to get whatever ratio you want, be highway gears, racing gears, whatever. Um, this one runs a floater axle, kind of like your three-quarter ton truck. It came out of a dirt car. I just thought I'd leave it. It was cool. Um, just like I've had this one on the road about three years. The first trip I took with it was 500 miles round trip, and it was just great. I, I just love this thing. Uh, this is how you blow steam off when you've been in a Steiger all day, which I love my Steigers, but you can't work on them all the time. This has still got slicks and what I call the boom tube exhaust on it because we went racing at the uh, boot heel uh, fuel and gas drags this summer down in Sykeston, Missouri. Uh, mostly I made a lot of noise, but we had fun. Um, it's a pretty neat car. I can't, uh, can't wait to get my big motor in it, which is why I'm taking this apart tonight, because I need to get my unobtainium cylinder head and some of the stuff in the bottom end, the cam drive. Yeah, this, this looks like vomit. I put this car together in 36 days from a steaming pile of Florida moss covered shit and made passes, made it go straight and I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna work on it a few nights here while we're not doing anything real heavy. Um, we got some really good stuff going on over in the big shop. 
Uh, we got a transmission to swap in a 9370. Um, got that, got to put pins in one. I think some stuff you'll enjoy. I got to fix that yellow bastard of mine too. Um, don't ever, ever complain about your drill press. This thing right here works. I've used it. It came from one of my neighbor's farm sales years ago. Same way with the treadle lathe here, which is mostly inoperable, but kind of cool. Uh, it was literally treadle powered like a Singer sewing machine. And sometime in its life, it'd been converted. It's been dropped. I can't throw it away. It's just too cool. Um, any rate, that's what we got. This is what I do when I'm not farming. I, you can't farm all the time. And uh, I don't want to, frankly. My dad was a hot rodder. My grandpa was an incredible mechanic and fabricator. And it all just kind of came on down. And I could never really get into pulling tractors all that much. So we go drag racing. That played with some sprint cars, stuff like that. But at any rate, I just thought I'd give you a quickie update. You guys take care. Have a good night and keep your powder dry.